Hi there. Yeah? Can't you see I'm busy? With what? Coordinating shipments. What's it look like? Even on a wasteland, trade is king. Tell me about Aenea. What else can you tell me about Aenea? I once saw Aenea shoot a visor off a scab from 50 yards off. Which is why I make it a policy never to talk about her behind her back. You want to know about Aenea? You talk to Aenea. Hmm. What kind of shipments? What shipments do you get? Anything you can name. On Elodin, everything has a price. Food, water, meds, clothing. Somebody's probably willing to pay for it. How often do shipments come in? They come in when they come in. We don't exactly live according to a schedule. How to keep order? Why don't the scavengers attack the docks? Because they've learned that they need Aenea. Without her influence, they're all dead. Someone steps out of line, Aenea deals with it. Or the other scavs do. Sounds like a delicate balance. Delicate? Hardly. It's a system kept in check by large guns and high velocity rounds. Hmm. Why are you here? How did you come to be an Aladdin? Short version? After the uprising, I found myself in Kadara. Hated it. Met Ania at the bar and she offered me this job. Really didn't have anything to lose. Why did you hate Kadara? Politics, backstabbing. I'm a simple guy. If someone's gonna knife me, I'd rather it be in the front. The folks on Aladdin excel at that. Hmm. I'll let you work. I'll leave you to it. Good. Be on your way and try not to piss anyone off. Alright. I'll do my best. Good demos. It's Pixie here. Get that shipping crate out of my way. And today we're playing Mass Effect Andromeda. So last time we just sort of went around Kadara, not Kadara, Aladdin, and did a few side quests. There are a few more around here. What's this? Oh. Huh. What's that over there? They look like tanks of some kind. We should go check that out. Might be important. That's water. a lot of stored water. This is ridiculous. What? This is water. It costs as much as two shots of good whiskey on the Presidium. It's just bloody water. Hi there. If you're here for water, you'll need to speak with Ania first. You cut the deal with her, she gives you a chit, and I dispense the water. You can take your entire allotment at once or in portions. Up to you. This is a perilous perch. Seems odd to place the water tank so close to that gaping chasm. Someone once told me Ania does it as a security measure. She empties the tanks into the gorge if anyone tries to steal the water. I've never seen it happen myself, but others have. Can you imagine? What a waste. Uh, where's the source? We found that out last time. Where does this water come from? <laughs> I believe that's a trade secret. I don't even know where she gets it. At first I thought she traded with Kadara, but that can't be it. It's impossible for all this volume to be from Kadara. Josie sells water. Is all this water for sale? Some of the supply goes to the trading post, of course, but yes, most of it's for sale. Anyone who wants water on Elodin has to come here. There is very little elsewhere on the planet. All right, I'll leave you to it. I'll let you get on with your work. Have a lovely day. So our last time we did some stuff with the, uh, the water supply, and now it's free for everyone. But apparently this guy hasn't gotten the news yet. Hello again, Halsey. How's it hey, going? I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Uh, report. Must be a reason you're here. Is there a problem? Not with the Nexus. This is a personal matter. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus. 
but we can start over on Kadara, together. It's very noble of you. You're a good brother, Kent. Don't congratulate me yet. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. All right. Where's this scavenger? Hi, Stan. New armor. Well-maintained weapons. I take it you're not one of the locals. Is that obvious? Think I'll stick out? Like water in the desert. My boss and here picked up on you from the second you landed. Stan. So you work for the water merchant? I design the filtration systems. Now I keep them from breaking down in the heat. You're an engineer. Of sorts. On Kadara, I designed defense systems for the settlements. Specialized in hidden traps to use in the dark. <laughs> I can't continue that work here. Why? The sun never goes down on Elodin. No nighttime. Just constant blazing daylight. It's why the paradise does so well. Water isn't the only commodity. We have shade. How do you end up here? Same as anyone. I was desperate. Run up a debt on Kadara and needed to escape. I have to say life isn't bad here. I move between the Paradise and New Tachanka, keeping the water tanks running. Sometimes I even go to the flop house to buy extra parts from the scavengers. They respect me there. Still, I miss the exciting stuff. Felt like I was making a difference when I built defense systems. Hmm. I see you around. I should get going. Careful out there. Did you know that there's a popular YouTuber by the name of Shin? Any relation? Brothers? Cousins? No? Okay. Hi there. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. How did she know? How do you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. What are they saying? Well, now I'm curious. I will repeat it, for your sake. All right. Aladdin. What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders don't kill you, the heat in Ataraxia will. I don't know how anyone can live here. Somehow, they make it work. Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a ride out of here. Except the Krogan. I've seen new Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Salvage. You said you run salvage to Kadara? How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Then what? I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. Sloane takes her cut, naturally, but mostly I make a killing. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say so. Tell me about the scavengers. Any problems? You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. Mm, they are horrible. I plan to keep my distance. Smart. But it's not just the gang leaders. The ones in the paradise are dangerous too. This is supposed to be a neutral zone. But I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. Oh, uh, Isabel. Got info on someone named Isabel Halsey? What am I, your personal database? Pretty please. Come on, you're the only one here who doesn't want to kill me. Just help me out. Fine, fine. I I've never met her, but I heard a few scavengers talking. Mention a cave out in the dunes. Something about Isabel's time being limited. This is the nav point. Just watch out. That's a bad area. All of Elodin is a bad area. Good point. Tell me about Reyes. Ever work with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? We've met. I'm not surprised. Reyes knows everyone. Some a little too well. Alright. 
See you later. Take it easy. Always do. Quick question. How did she get the nav point for this place? She says she, she just overheard some scavengers talking, but to have a nav point for it. I don't know. Sketchy. I detect above normal temperatures. Stay alert. This junk is prime for scavengers. Pathfinder, I detect a different temperature ahead. Oh. The scavengers have set a geo camp. Here we go. Aha! Now we've got the drop on them. But they didn't expect to do this. What the? Zap, be careful. Wow, oh, it looks like you're paneling stuff pretty well. What the? Is that Was Isabel? That Isabel? Alright, looks like Isabel's doing pretty well. Oh boy. Hey. So. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Life support is stable. Yep, you're probably Isabel. Don't make me kill you, please. I don't want to kill you. You're from the Nexus. Should have known. I don't sell to your kind. Matter of principle. If you're Isabel, your brother sent me. Kent? For what? He wants you to go back with him to Gadara. Well, you can tell him I'm not going anywhere. On the Nexus, I was a merchant's assistant. On Gadara, I ran errands. Now, I make weapons for the most powerful gang leaders on Elodin. I get perks, protection, and no one would dare touch me. Finally get the respect I deserve. And the best part is, I don't have to talk to Ask using Nexus dogs. Except for now, I guess. You need to leave. Kent's waiting. Don't pass up your only shot to get off this planet. Whether I like it or not, this is home now. I have no reason to leave. What about family? Kent flew here all the way from the Nexus. He'd give his life for you. You don't think that's reason enough? You're a pain in the ass, you know that? <sighs> Fine. Can't stand the heat here anyway. I'll send a calm to my brother. Now get out of here. Excellent. That went well. I was afraid it wouldn't go well. What's in here? Hey there. Need some help? What are you looking at? Nothing. Jeez. Um, what? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like you're looking at me. I don't like it. Maybe I am looking at you. I'll look where I want. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot whoever I want. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Not a moment too soon. What are you looking Ryder, at? Ryder, I heard that little exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up? Hmm. Okay. So Lexi wants us to scan Wish people. Goddamn sun would just go away. Strange. Data's not coming through. Try ask? another one. Huh. Fascinating. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Got it. I'll add it to my data banks. Perfect. Thanks, Ryder. That should be enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. All right. That was interesting. Hi there. I didn't do it. Didn't do nothing. Okay. You didn't do anything. Good. Tell them that when they come. I feel bad for him. 
Ryder, I've analyzed the scans you sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Their neural paths were altered in cryo sleep. It's not curable, but I've developed a serum that should subdue the symptoms. I left it at the paradise. When you pick it up, I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Okay, so here's the serum. I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. Scan the scavengers at the paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential. What about the guy who was all threatening? No? All right. Hi there. There. He's perfect. You'll need his permission to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. Understood. You sure this... Uh, hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. You can have your... If you take this, you can feel normal again. Start your life. A life of serving the Nexus? Of being bored out of my mind? No thanks. I'm free as a bird now, and damn, it feels great. Okay. Leave, leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. Uh, don't be stupid. What if your brain decays more? Just, just take the serum. And if I say no? Won't make you, but you'd be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine, give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it, you leave me alone. Now shove off. All right. Not the first patient I've had who resisted treatment. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness talking. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. Thanks, Ryder. No problem. Hi. This is a it's bad. All right. We'll get out somehow. This is a bad place to be. You shouldn't be down here. Well, like you have a shuttle, so I guess you can just fly, yeah. Oh, good. You heard me. I was starting to think I'd have to walk back to that rundown shack they call a landing zone. What are you doing out here? I'm a scientist from the Nexus. I've been surveying Elodin's geography for several weeks now, and now I'm stranded on this hellhole. How can I help? Tell me what I can do to help you. Glad you asked. A few days ago, my shuttle overheated and died. Then I ran out of water. After two days without a drop, I got desperate. Ended up trading a part from my ship to some scavengers. Once the delirium subsided, I realized my mistake. Turns out I sold them my thruster, which you need to fly. I'll take you to the Nexus. The Tempest can get you back to the Nexus in no time. And leave my ship here to be picked apart. If I leave, that shuttle needs to come with me. I figure since you're a Pathfinder, maybe you can talk to the scavengers. Get that part back. Alright, I uh, consider it done. I'll have that thruster for you in no time. Helpful and efficient. I like that. I'll give you the nav point for the camp. Be ready, they're a prickly bunch. Talk about the sinkholes. Are you studying the sinkholes here? I'm trying to figure out what causes them. Any luck? My scans show a high concentration of calcium carbonate deep below us, high enough to create pockets of brittle rock. These pockets break down and collapse, and it causes a chain reaction all the way to the surface. Incidentally, that would also account for all this sand. Hmm. Any findings? Have you learned anything useful about Elodin? That depends on what you consider useful. Try me. Well, I assume you know Elodin receives constant sunlight. There is no night time. But I've found evidence of a rare temperature dip, which means the planet experiences an occasional eclipse. Can you imagine? Constant blazing sun for years, then a week of night. It must be jarring. I'd imagine so. Goodbye. Good luck out there. Hello! This should be the camp. Where are the scavengers? Oh, found him. 
It appears he's been dead for several hours, Pathfinder. But who killed him? Pathfinder, I detect movement. Someone is behind that door. Analysis of alcohol content reveals it was brewed here on Elodin. Made here? Out of what? It's probably safer if you don't know, Pathfinder. McCrone. Who are you? I I can be friendly. Let's talk this out. Why are you hiding? You want to tell me why you were sneaking around in there? You saw the camp. When Axis comes, the only thing to do is hide. Who? You haven't heard of him? Axius leads the meanest gang on Elodin. They run raids on other scavenger camps, never leave anyone alive. Last night, they picked our camp. I was lucky enough to find a hiding place. Been in there ever since. Your gang bought a thruster from a scientist recently. I want it back. That piece of junk didn't even fit our ship. Axius must have taken it. He took everything. You can try getting it back from him if you have a death wish. I'll even give you the nav point. Will you be all right? You going to be okay by yourself? This happens all the time. I'll find a new gang. Oh, one more thing. If you see Axius, shoot first. He's not a talker. I'm going to try talking first. Residue indicates this crate once held weapons, but it's now empty. No weapons on the dead scavengers either. And also, they were all beaten to death. None of them were shot. Hmm. Maybe this guy doesn't like guns? Perhaps? Pathfinder, we're approaching a scavenger site. I advise caution. I detect multiple life forms, Pathfinder. Likely Axius and his scavengers. Records indicate Axius has multiple bounties on his head. Be careful, Pathfinder. Understood. Enemies! Batty camp. Keep an eye out. Oh, were you the guy with the creepy voice who was all like, oh, I like the one that can fight or something like that. Arr. You were weird. Oh, I just want to get up and... Yeah, that was you. Nice work. Um. Never cross Axios. Okay, you just hang out there, okay? That's not working. Let's just go in and shoot everyone. Time for the kill shot. One. I like it. Please stop saying that. Gotcha. We're all clear. That was a good shot. All right, Axius or Axia, something. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Where are you? This appears to be the thrust catalyzer from Nora's ship. Finally, let's get it back to her. But where's uh, Axius? Did we kill him in the fight? All right, we are back. Ooh, outlaw camp. Should we knock? Uh, first, we're going to talk to Nora Talis. Nora. Yes. Here's your thruster. I got your ship's thruster back. Well, catalyzer. Same thing. Seriously, I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Yeah, it wasn't easy. I went to a lot of trouble for that. Took down some nasty scavengers. I'm not surprised. They're an unpleasant bunch, aren't they? Well, I'll install this and be on my way. I've got a lot of planet to cover. Be careful out there. Right. I hadn't thought of that. Thanks for the rescue, Pathfinder. All right, anything else you need? Yes? No, all right. Good luck out there. I believe the terminal has gone missing. 
What terminal? Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? <coughs> I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe. Oh. What was on it? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Uh, or, uh, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> Anyway, it's encrypted, but it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. Who was Dr. Okia? He's the one who created Grunt from Mass Effect 2. Do you guys remember Grunt? That guy was awesome. I like Grunt. You talk about Dr. Okia like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics, and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had, a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive. Wow, look! I kinda wanna get out and take a picture. Go ahead! Alright, let's see what's here. We've reached the nav point provided by Dr. Gunnar. The Krogan terminal should be nearby. Is it okay, right there? Peeled, everyone. The let's get in and get out. Alright, everything looks good. This is the active terminal. Initiating download. Damn it! Gotcha. All right, that's one down. No, oh, come on. You guys drop, and I throw that. Large. Also, this terminal holds 15 exabytes of data, and I have no way to gauge what is important. Damn! Should have thought of that! Download complete. We may need now. Easy for you to say. Can you tell what's in all that data? Better have been worth almost getting what killed. Alien. Much is encrypted. However, a few phrases stand out. Krogan Super Soldier. Kill Krogan. And Tank Bread. Huh. Interesting. Send me a report of what you That's Grunt. That's uh, talking about Grunt. I detect above normal temperatures. Man, I miss Grunt. Can't think of it. If I had to choose between Grunt and Drac, I'd, I'd actually go Drac. Actually, yeah. Environmental temperatures. I really like Drac. Limits. Grunt had no backstory. He was just a tank bred Krogan looking for a, a purpose in life. Drag. I mean, we, we got all that stuff with the uh, cash. Do you guys remember when, when he talked about cash? Oh my god, he broke my heart. Oh, my heart. Ugh, so fragile. So breakable. Hey guys, do you remember Grunt? Dr. important work can't be lost. I know it can't, but do you guys remember Grunt? He was great, right? Thank you for bringing me the data. Now I can continue the work of Dr. O'Kear. The Krogan will be great again. Okay, let me know how that goes. Anything Dr. else? Dr. O'Kear's important work can't be lost. Well, it's not. You've got it all. Terminal. Fair and jerky. All right. Hey there. Rorik? You have one of those, uh, bone colors like Morda does. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager. Made runs to Elodin all the time. 
When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. Well, you guys, you know, close. Were you two, you know? We were friends. At least I thought so. One day she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. Could she be in trouble? You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. What's, what's she like? Tell me about that. Tell me more about Lietta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Krogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. Let me help. I could track her down for you, make sure she's okay. Isn't there a salvager of the paradise? I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, you're not like other Krogan. You seem different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. It's supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. You seem to like Helios. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tachanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never been bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. Why are you alone? What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. Hmm. Alright, I'll see you later. I should get going. You've survived the gang leaders and the worms so far. I'm impressed. Any news on uh, Vigetta? What happened to the other salvage runner? Lietta? The Angara? Who's asking? I am. Lietta's dealt with enough. She doesn't need a Pathfinder poking around. Someone cares about her. She has a friend here. He wants to make sure she's okay. Yeah? Where was he when Lietta was in trouble? Just tell me where she is. I don't know. Her ship was gone, so I flew her to Kadara. I didn't ask questions. Talk to Colt Dalton if you want to know more. He's the docks manager on Kadara. She had to go through him to get anywhere. All right. Take it easy. Always do. Colt, got a uh, got a questions for you. Well, I'll if you the quest mark is one second. quest mark is a bit off place, but you. Take it this beauty is yours? The Tempest? Yeah, she's mine. Hell of a ship. We don't get many like her. Colt Dalton, Kadara Docks Manager. Sloan said to make sure no one harasses you. Awfully nice of her. Uncharacteristically so. You must be important. Uh, are the docks safe? How safe is it here? Eh, safety is a commodity on Kadara. Depends on how much you're willing to spend. The port's gun free, but murder comes in all shapes and sizes. Still better than living outside the mountain. It's no man's land out there. You keep him busy? Does Kadara get a lot of traffic? Since we moved in? Oh yeah. Kadara is one of the few planets in Helios with a functioning economy. Got Angara and exiles from all over Helios moving their cargo through this port. I'm looking for... How, how's it pronounced? Lieta? I was told you can help me find an Angara named Lieta. No can do. Why not? I was generously compensated to keep my mouth shut. I'm a man of my word. I'm sure you understand. You were paid to keep quiet? Why would she pay you to cover her trail? 
Not my job to ask questions. She wouldn't have told me anyway. We weren't exactly friends, but she treated me like a stranger the day she left. I shouldn't be telling you this. Pretend I didn't say anything. Let's work something out. Hey, I'm a good friend to have. You help me, and I'll help you. Go on. Connections to the Nexus, free reign in Helios, a really cool ship. I can be useful. Sold. I can't tell you where she went. I can't stop you from taking a peek at my dock records either. Especially if you knew the passcode is 1837. Got it. Thanks. I don't know what you mean. That's all for now. Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. Relax, Costa. They don't know I was a cop. I'm not one now. No trouble. <laughs> you feel okay? Pathfinder, feeling out of place at the moment. And side effect? Coming here makes me hate Tan a whole lot more. These were our people. We'll get them back. Our job is to get people home. That includes Kadara. Glad to hear it. They were exiled to nothing and built up to this. We need that on our side. Jal, the records say Lieta went to Aya for recovery. She was injured. It must have been bad if she was sent to Aya. What happened on Elodin? There's a resistance med center on Aya. That's where we'll find answers. Hmm, a resistance med center. Was she a member of the resistance? Damn it, wrong button. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. Hi there. Uh, Lieta. Uh, your friend from uh, the Krogan Colony sent me. You're not supposed to be here. You're hard to find. Lieta, you're tough to track down. How do you know my name? What do you want? Rorik was worried about you. He sent me to give you this cryo bracelet. I... I don't want it. Take it away. I want nothing to do with Rorik. With any of you. Tell me what happened. You've been through a lot, haven't you? You wouldn't want to hear about it. Try me. I was dumped by scavengers. Outsiders who left me for dead. I thought I could come to Aya and feel safe with my people. Forget what happened. And now you're here. Seems like no matter where I go, I can't escape outsiders. All of you need to just go away and leave me alone. Tell me about the attack. You were jumped by scavengers? On Elodin. They said they had salvage to sell. I was stupid enough to follow them. Once we were alone, they attacked. Left me for dead. Took my ship and flew off world. How did you get back? I walked. Three hours on the dunes, with a few broken ribs. Rode back to Kadara with another salvager. How did you get to Aya? I thought Aya wouldn't take anyone from Kadara. They don't. I told them what happened and they welcomed me. Ephra took me in. He says I'm a fighter. Resistance material. I spent so long wanting more than what Angara worlds could give me. I was wrong. You can't just give up. You can't lose faith. Some of those outsiders care about you. Like who? Rorik, for one. He sent me to find you, didn't he? You went to a lot of trouble for someone you didn't know. Why? Because there's good in us. Lots of us are trying to bring some good to Helios. Like Rorik. Like me. Rorik. I should have known he'd be worried about me. Can I see that bracelet again? He actually made it. He said you can use it to visit him again. It... It'll take me some time, but I think I can do that. I know Rorik. He'd blame himself if he knew what happened. It would be better if he didn't know the truth. It's your choice, but think about it. Rorik, I, uh... I have something to tell you. <laughs> Ever think you'd see anything so beautiful? It's breathtaking. Sometimes I forget to stop and enjoy the view. 
We could never see the horizon on Tachanka. Too hazy. So I found Lieta. I managed to track down Lieta for oh, yeah? you. You did? How is she? Uh, you should know the truth. Why do I always have to tell the truth? It'd be so much easier if I lied. Lieta was attacked by scavengers the last time she was here. Is she okay? She'll be fine, but needs time to get back on her feet. She'll visit you once she feels ready. I always told her to trust the good in others. Look what happened. But you are right. You're proof there are good people out there. I just hope Lieta feels the same. Thank you, Pathfinder. Well, that didn't go too badly. And I think on that note, we might just call it there. Hear about the Nexus wanting us back? <laughs> so the Squishies finally realize yeah. they're screwed out here. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than oops, my bad to scratch out what they did. So until next time, mortals, I hope you all enjoyed. And good night.